Hi guys, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Uh, I have a schematic here and I have made this electronic circuit maybe four or five times for different devices. And I think of above all the other electronic circuits that I've made for my radio electronics hobby, uh, this one stands out as the best and most used. And I think it'd be great to present this to everybody online. Now, it might be beyond some people's capability as far as uh, putting a small circuit together. It's not really that hard. And there isn't a lot of parts. However, if you've never done any kind of electronic uh, uh, kits, you know, your basic online kits or the old Radio Shack kits and soldered, learn to solder and whatnot, uh, you may want to steer clear of this till you're ready. But for those that have some electronics knowledge and uh, soldering skills, I'm going to present this kit to you. It's not a kit, sorry. This schematic to you. And uh, see if you guys like it. It works great for me. Let's go from there. Well, I suppose I should probably tell you what, what the circuit is. Uh, many radio enthusiasts will have lots of uh, radio equipment that produces heat. Lots of heat. Power supplies, linear amplifiers, radios that are transmitting at high output. Uh, they all produce a lot of heat, internal heat. Sometimes it's captured inside the cabinet of the uh, device and they don't have fans on them. So wouldn't it be nice to have a fan on that type of equipment and have that fan regulated so that it would only come on once the equipment gets to a certain temperature. And once the temperature is reached, the, the fan will kick on, run, until it gets, comes down to a low temperature, preset temperature, and the fan turns off. So that there's no noise unless there's heat. So what I have here is my schematic for a thermal fan switch that operates at uh, 12 to 15 volts DC and uh, it's quite a great little uh, device. It engages around 88 degrees but it's variable so you can turn it up or down to, for the temperature that you want it to kick in at. And so I will set you up with this. I will put in a schematic and a parts list. Uh, you might want to pause at the schematic so that you can copy it. And then after the schematic, the parts list will show. Go ahead and pause that and copy that down as well. And enjoy. It's been a great... Uh, little device that I've put in many different radios that needed it and uh, of course the newer radios most of them have fans now but still you may have equipment that needs that needs fans so yeah enjoy thanks a lot 87LN I'm clear